Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And as always, we want to thank our Patreons. Thank you for your support as that family keeps growing. Yes, thank you so much. Absolutely. Invite everybody to join us over there as well. There are exclusive videos that go up oh, every two, three days over on Patreon, typically. Uh, one of our Patreons is Modern Refugee, and he has 28,000 subscribers, 784 videos. Uh, you know, I, I would invite you guys to go subscribe over at Modern Refugee and see what you can learn from him. Again, we could all learn something, right? How to get a spouse or non-preppers to accept prepping. Uh, that's a question that we've heard many times. I know, and this was one of my favorite ones just going through here. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I definitely think it's a really good idea because a lot of you, when we work on you guys, um, your spouse isn't on board, and that can really, really be problematic. So any little bit of wisdom you can get to have your spouse included with your preps, I think is is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's got things like prepping items for non-preppers, skills for non-preppers, local price reports. You know, uh, it's just a great channel and absolutely could be a big help in these times. So there's a lot of chaos going on, as we well know. And a lot of our regulars, a lot of the people that we keep in contact with every day uh, that watch things really closely and are very intuitive are all feeling like, well, you know, it's it's really, uh, it's starting. It's really starting. It's really, um, we're pretty much at that go time. As you see, more than 300 Illinois National Guard soldiers and their families preparing for deployment to the Middle East. Uh, they're being deployed to the Middle East in support of Operation Spartan Shield. Uh, again, you know, Many people don't realize just how much National Guard are not in our nation. And that just sounds kind of stupid to me in so many ways. What's the National Guard? They guard the nation? Hello? They should be here to do it, shouldn't they? Well, ever since 9-11, they have been sending more and more and more of our National Guard away, far away thousands and thousands of miles away and in fact you know there it's just a regular thing now part of what really is disconcerting when you realize uh that for instance some of the troops that got injured uh, in the attacks which they're not being truthful to us by the way uh, on the numbers of people hurt because there's there's different sources out there saying different things like Iranian sources were saying no it wasn't three uh, troops killed it was more like 40 or more and and some reports are saying 80 were killed um, again in war there's always a lot of lies, even more than maybe usual, because we're all pretty used to lies when it comes to listening to politicians, that's for sure. And the fact of the matter is so many National Guard are not guarding the nation. They're not guarding their home states at a time when we have tens of millions of people illegally inside the country. Literally, it's it's just kind of insane. And we are, obviously, you might view it as a, a tiptoe towards that Third World War, or at this point in time, it, it might be a, a little bit more of a brisk jog going on. Here you have Senator Doug Mastriano as chair of the Senate Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee. I'm calling for the immediate deployment of Pennsylvania National Guard troops to Texas to support border security operations. Well, again, you know, every year uh, that in the last three or four, it, it's escalated drastically the number of people that have made it across the border illegally and are in the country again. So if you're going to pull everybody now, either send them abroad or send them all down to Texas. What about all the millions that are already in 
Idaho, in Washington, in Maine, in New York, in Pennsylvania, in Delaware, in Rhode Island, in all the other states at a time when budgets have been very tight and it's been tough for a lot of communities to have enough police as well as, you know, that whole movement that was there before to defund the police. It's pretty darn obvious what they're doing is they're they're taking away our ability to put up a good defense when it's go time. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's just so uh, classic about, you know, all the horses are out. Okay, let's shut the barn doors, you know, like, like it matters now. And, and they're pretending to put up some facade like the, the politicians, they're acting as, as if they care. I mean, shouldn't they have cared like a long, long ago? But this has been a plan that's been long in the making. And I think now is a really good time for people in your communities. If you have an emergency preparedness community where you are at, maybe look one up, maybe start one. I think it's definitely that time. So approximately 40 Arizona National Guard service members were identified as wounded in action on that attack on the air base that they say was in Jordan. Maybe it was actually in Syria. I mean, who knows, really? In reality, we can't, again, trust anything that comes out of any official sources. So they weren't guarding the Arizona border. And now at this point in time, Reports are saying that there's more trying to cross Arizona and California than, than there appears to be in Texas. Uh, you know, again, they're landing in boats in California. They're landing in boats. So these unfortunate service people were not even in their home territory that is being invaded. They were thousands of miles away in the Middle East. Ah, this is such a carefully laid out plan. And Denver sets limits on shelter stays due to 40,000 migrant arrivals. Yeah, starting February 5th, Denver is going to impose limits on the days migrants can stay in shelters due to the strain by an influx of nearly 40,000 migrants over the past year. Ah, a massive amount of people. Massive. And again, the vast majority seem to be males, military age, pretty healthy. This city has a population of 710,000. And think about if of the 40,000, 30 or 35,000 are literally combatants just waiting for the order. That's not good. As you see this person saying, get out of the cities now. That's good advice. And I understand people will say that they're stuck. Where are we going to go? Um if, if you did have the ability to, um, I would have left a long time ago. You know, that's just me. Uh, and maybe sometimes I do jump the gun. I, I can. I've been known to jump the gun sometimes. But right now, I really feel like things are, are kind of cementing into place as far as the timeline goes. And it really feels like, Unfortunately, the timeline that I've been thinking is is really the timeline that looks like it's breaking uh, down to be just that timeline. So we are just about in February. February only has 28 days. We're going to be in March. Um, I think, you know, again, as I've been saying, April is going to be April's. It's just going to be kind of chaotic at that point in time. And there's many reasons for that as we look at uh, two New York City police uh, being overwhelmed by a large mob of illegal aliens. What's this going to look like when they get the go signal and they're actually coming out armed? And, and, you know, it's it's all on. This is not going to be a pretty thing. Again, you if you can, I would definitely remove yourself from the large population centers that never a good place to be uh, during a war especially within reach of, of striking from the enemy combatants per se but the reality is this is different because they've been distributed all over the country all over the country they are they're they're everywhere you know and they've been bursting at the seams for a very long time so whether you're 
a Republican, whether you're a Democrat, doesn't really matter. All these politicians, they have known for a very long time what what the plan is, and they've been paid very well to um, continue on with their script. And basically what I'm saying is I don't feel we have any help out there, and I do feel strongly that we need to help ourselves. The focus needs to stop going out to the government. Oh, government, what can you do? Washington, what can be? They're not. They, they've done made they have made their decision they're they're doing what they are doing and we can all see that very clearly so i just i feel all of our focus needs to like anger takes a lot of energy a lot of energy and if you're going to put that externally that you're not helping yourself so i think we need to turn turn that around and put that energy toward preparing your home preparing your family preparing yourself Getting yourself healthy, having backups to your backups. And this way, we're going to have a chance. You know, we'll we'll be here to help one another rebuild after everything kind of crumbles and, and falls apart. And it really does. I mean, all the signs are out there. All the signs are out there. It's time for us to really take care of ourselves now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and... As you can see, what's being said there about I mean, this is kind of everybody's nightmare, uh, un- unless you are Muslim, is is living in a place with Sharia law, and even if you are Muslim, it might be your nightmare too, because you know it's it's scary, and I know that's something that that Cindy's had a bad feeling about for a long time. Well, you know, I, I have to be honest. When when the masks came out, that's that was my thought. It's like, oh my gosh, are they grooming for some type of uh, change in, in religion and just getting people used to wearing the masks and using a different a different excuse to wear them? And that way, people look around and you know, it's just normal to wear them. I know there's multiple layers of it, but mostly it's all it's been about compliance from the very beginning. Well, yeah, and again, you know, Islam literally means to submit. It means to submit to the will of God or the will of Allah, which again, you know, is it written in Allah's hand, by Allah's hand? Unless you were there and you saw it, you don't know you're going on faith. This is the thing. When people go blindly on faith, they can be led because they're being blind. You have to you have to search and weigh and and look and compare and this is what we've been stressing for so much for the entire time of the channel and and bringing up uncomfortable things like what happened to the indigenous people in the Americas and it goes on and on and on but yes blind faith in any religion leads to a lot of this death and destruction and and i think that's what the world is starting to wake up to here you have colonel doug mcgregor saying an attack on iran could escalate into a nuclear war we need to back away from this uh 50, 000, 57 000 americans in uniform in the region within reach of the missiles that iran has and, and as they say it has enormous arsenal of missiles well, recognize when you're taking on Iran, you are taking on China, you are taking on Russia, and you are taking on many other nations as well. And this is, uh, reports are indicating that Iran will strike naval ships uh, if the U.S. does any direct attack on Iran, which has been speculated that an attack could come at any point in time. And they just said that any attack at all directly on Iran will uh, lead to a a reprisal. Absolutely. By the way, Russia is reportedly contemplating the deployment of nuclear weapons to Cuba, marking the first instance since the Cuban Missile Crisis back in 62. Uh, You know, there were a lot of uh, interesting flights going on with transports and refuelers and again monkey works does probably the best job covering that stuff and uh, we do keep up with uh, him a couple of times a week two or three times a week just to see what he's seeing and you know there there were interesting flights that could have been bringing uh, nuclear weapons into the UK Uh, also Prepositioning a lot of in-flight fighter refuelers, tankers, 
which may give you uh, an idea that there is going to be a big attack somewhere in the Middle East. You know, again, most likely target Iran. Uh, we'll have to see. Again, it, it is obviously escalating. An F-16C uh, went down off the western coast of South Korea. The pilot successfully ejected. You know, these are the type, types of things you're going to see more and more of in these times. Meanwhile, Serbia is considering reintroducing compulsory military service, i.e., get ready for the draft. Absolutely. And as we see, Russia and China are warning against the cycle of retaliation. Ah, yes, because, you know, at some point, the reprisal is going to be absolutely uh, just shocking. Struggling for recruits, the U.S. Navy has lowered education standards. They are offering big bonuses, lowering education standards. It, it shows you how uh, we're not in position for a global war. But that's exactly what has been uh, brought about into being. Even though the U.S. spends 10 times as much as Russia, 12 times as much in many years, uh, we are somehow way behind in our armaments. Uh, yeah, that's all been planned too. The UK in an uproar after it was suggested they might have to face a military draft. Yep, yeah, they want you, the king wants you. Yeah, God save the king. God save, God the, save king. the king. Right? <laughs> you know that word, God save the king. God save this, God save that. And it's the religious... Um, the whole religious system is really a problem because everyone is doing what God says, but they don't understand it. Is God is the Wizard of Oz that's behind the curtain pushing all the buttons, and he's actually not a very nice person. No, speaking of not very nice people, here's Boris. Uh, he's urging the UK youth to embrace military training. Get ready. It's time. You, you, know, you need to go join the military. Uh, it, yeah, just please ignore the fact that his his dad wrote a book about depopulation. Yeah, that, you know, again, most, 75% of, of the people in the UK need to not be there. Uh, yeah, that's exactly uh, what his dad did and also wrote about a nasty virus. And here he is. He's basically telling you that these wars our planned depopulation events. That's what they are. They're planned depopulation events. And when you read people that, to me, uh, whew, my God, the ignorance out there that people still don't see this. And, and the comments about, you know, you know, giving them hell and go get this one, go get that one. And it's like, my gosh, they just keep drinking the Kool-Aid. They're not waking up. But thankfully, more and more are waking up. If if there is a third world war and it comes to NATO soil, this is what's to be expected. Everybody 18 to 60 is subject to military mobilization. Uh, yeah, I, I am not going to kill some other poor bloke um, because, you know, Uncle Sam says so, or any politician says so. You know, you always have the right to defend yourself if you are being attacked. But what happens is, you know, just listening to their words. Oh, those, those three, you know, those three National Guardsmen from Georgia were killed defending their country. Yeah, 4,000 miles away. How are they defending their country 4,000 miles away? Are you, are you trying to preempt something? Is that what you're saying? Well, we saw a video for those that watched um, the last video where, you know, again, the WEF is, is basically talking about arresting people preemptively for what they're thinking to do. They really are. How are they going to know? Well, they're going to have you chipped. That's the bottom line. So they're going to know what your thoughts are. They're, they're going to monitor your brain waves. This is like that movie. I forget what the name of the movie was. Was it was it was it Patriot Report? Was it Minority Report? Maybe was it? Gosh, it was one of those movies. I don't know if it was Tom Cruise or Mel Gibson or who. We'll just make it a fun question. Yeah, movie. you guys could tell me what movie I'm thinking about. But it was like <laughs> the Thought Police. The Thought Police. Well, we know you're going to you're going to you're going to commit a crime in 3 years because you're thinking this way. Mm 
I know, you know, you can just go to Facebook. They have plenty of thought police there and other kind of police and everybody's policing everybody else. And um, the controllers have done a very good job on getting people to tattle on one another and to get after one another instead of slowing down and stopping and supporting one another. But, you know, when it comes to that, I, I got to say, we just have to keep our eye on the prize. Keep trying Find that silver lining. Find that one positive thing that you can focus on. Make that gratitude list. When times get tough, you pull it out and you read it and you mean it. You feel it and you let that vibration and you let that frequency take you over in a state of happiness. And this is what's going to help so many people get through. It's not going to be coming from uh, these people that take all of our money and they call it taxes. So reports saying that uh, in Iran, there was mass arrest of Israeli intelligence agents across the country. And yeah, uh, I do think that there's a lot in whether it's, you know, our own FBI, CIA, etc. Uh, or over in other countries, what would appear to be adversarial uh, intelligence units that most of the intelligence you know agents don't really understand the bigger picture so they do think that they are being quote unquote patriotic uh, it's only when you get up towards the top that the people understand the bigger picture and that it is coordinated and they are all working uh, together russia hit with widespread internet outage so you know, we're seeing the same thing uh, over there that we see over here and other places. I just wanted to share um, some of the quatrains, a couple of the quatrains that Nostradamus wrote that feel very, very much like they're in line with the timeline that we're in right now. This one right here, the Muslim attack in April, the time will be filthy, violent, and pestilent. A terrible Muslim attack and invasion. Great disasters are made in April, and great persons will be ridiculed. That does that not sound like what we are seeing? Absolutely. April, I do think, you know, obviously, what do we have in April? Well, we have the final eclipse. We have during that eclipse, you're gonna see a comet that's coming from Draco, the dragon, you know, or the devil, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, that does have devil's horns. Uh, you will see that, they say, good chance, uh, during the eclipse. This eclipse is, you know, one of two that makes an X right over the new Madrid, one of three that makes the Hebrew Aleph, or A, over the U.S. Uh, you, you can't make this up. They do everything with astrology in mind. And again, you know, Mars, Aries, God of War, the timing, it, it's, it, it makes perfect sense. Um, there's other ones here, too, from, from the Orient or from the East, will come the African heart. I think that I've seen that translated slightly different. To make trouble to the Adriatic or those of the Adriatic and Romulus heirs. Now, who's Romulus? Well, Again, Romulus, Rome, uh, you know, we've still, the Roman Empire just kind of morphed. It morphed eventually into the Holy Roman Empire and, and Charlemagne and all that. It morphed into the British Empire upon whose, uh, how was that worded? This, oh, upon whose throne or whatever the sun never set because it was so vast, which basically became uh, the U.S. Empire in so many ways. So who are they talking about here? Accompanied by the Libyan fleet, temples of Malta and nearby islands will be abandoned. Uh, there's others too. I think what they're, they're giving allusion to is again the war that is right upon us. Right upon us. There's, there's other ones also uh, that talk about a stealthy and tricky group of Muslims that will infiltrate Europe and burn certain cities to the ground ahead of the invasion that comes after it. And there's numerous quatrains that are also speaking about this mighty, uh, huge uh, Asian, which again is going to be centered around China, 
army that comes out in vast, vast numbers. But the other thing that's curious, too, is is the mentioning of the word blue and blue helmets that many people have interpreted to be, again, the UN. So we can see, you know, it's it's it really is coming out. And again, Nostradamus was an insider. Not only was he gifted, but he was an insider working for church and working for the crown. The Oriental will come out of his seat crossing the Apennine Mountains sea in Gaul, so France again, transported through the sky, the waters and snows, and shall strike everyone with his lance. So that's an interesting one too. But we are very, very uh, much into the beginning stages of this Third World War that he does have many, many quatrains about. The Arab prince, Mars, Sun, Venus, Leo, kingdom of the church will succumb by sea. Byzantium, which is again uh, Turkey, and Egypt, true serpent, or towards the Serbian Bosnia, will invade uh, and will invade Europe. Towards Persia, almost a million men. Uh, well, yeah, I do think that that this seems likely that this is the year that that alliance, uh, that that huge Muslim alliance with the support of China uh, and uh, obviously Russia will make their play and and will uh, basically elicit a, a red dawn upon the U.S., but first utilizing those that they sent ahead, clever men without laws, and hiding weapons under their robes is, is how he robes. says it. Key word, robes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. We can see this. This is jihad. This is a global jihad. Meanwhile, Elon, save your brain like a game. <laughs> Don't forget to save. You could come back and play again later. Neuralink plan promises to prevent AI extinction wiping out humanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we we were talking about this. That they, they make no bones about wanting to implant chips in every one of us so they can monitor our thoughts, our emotions, our behavior. And what does Elon want to do? He's the good cop, but he's still one of them. And if you think otherwise, you're just drinking too much Kool-Aid. I know it could be overwhelming. And here, this is Virginia Beach, as somebody just decides to take a little ride on the pier, and literally right off the pier. Um, it, you know, you're going to see all sorts of things in these times, guys. It, it's going to be really, really challenging. These are going to definitely be the most challenging times we've ever seen in our lives. And when I've said that in the past, in, in years past, where maybe it wasn't so clear what was coming, um, you know, there have been those that say, you know, don't you understand you're creating this by saying it? Well, if I never warned anybody, I, I think uh, it, it really will still happen because there's a consensus reality as well as our own individual realities that we're all co-creating at the same time. But like this little guy, you got to share the knowledge. And like, you know, again, the mama, you, you got to also warn your kids. You have to warn your family. It's, it's our duty to, to let people know and to also warn them what the bigger purpose is, which is, again, to pull us down to where we're just like the controllers because that's what they really want. They want company. They're miserable. doesn't matter if they have mansions and yachts and... No, they're miserable, and you know they want us to be in that same state with them. Mm -hmm. And I, I can definitely understand that, you know, your family may not always listen, but I can promise you they're definitely watching what you do. So be that good example. Be that thing that you want to see out there. If you want to see other people prepared, be prepared. Absolutely. So anchor your own peace, anchor your own light, and refuse to give in to the hatred. Much love. Namaste. Namaste.